Hey guys, welcome back to JLake 3D. So today I have a really interesting project for you. Uh, as you can see, this is a twisted shelf, and it's obviously a design for woodworkers. And I'm not a woodworker, but I saw this design on the internet uh, a couple months ago, and I was like, wow, that's that looks pretty cool. This must be fun to model and shaper. So I went ahead and did this today, and uh, it turned out really fun. And I'm not going to make it because I don't have the skills for this, but if you guys want to learn how to make it how to draw it in CAD so you can get the measurements because remember this is CAD so you can get literally all the measurements you look down here you have the measurements right so once you draw something up in CAD for woodworking you can always measure it and and you know make it work and then also the interesting part is some of you have work with you know wood bending I think you use moisture and then you slowly bend it into place uh, I don't know the exact process but I've seen it done on the video before but this is really interesting let's let's go ahead and get right into it all right, so we're going to start off from the top plane, and we need a rectangle that's going to be a 50 by 50, all right? So let's do a 50 by 50, and we're going to use the pattern tool, transform pattern, and it's going to be, make sure it's on linear, and we're going to go up by 200 inches, and we need a quantity of 5, because we're not just doing shelves yet, we're doing the whole thing. And then we simply take the bottom piece and extrude it by 200. All right. Next, we get the Move Rotate tool, and we just select the top plane, and we twist it by 90 degrees. All right. Next, we use the Shell tool. We select the edge we want to shell. Let's do 2 inches. All right. And at this point, what we need to do is create the shelves so we're gonna go ahead and do that let's extrude that by one inch make it sure it's a new body and then we're gonna to top it off at two inches just to line up with the rest of this alright and now we go and we chamfer these edges here doesn't matter how much tools replace face and we're going to select this wall here and same thing for all of them. Tools, replace face, this wall. Tools, replace face, this wall. And then we need to subtract. So subtract from this thing, this thing. Tools, subtract from this thing, this thing. And then tools, subtract from this thing, this thing. And then we delete these ones. These are excessive pieces. And I was actually going to show you a different way of doing it, but while I was going to do it, I'm like, hey, I could do it this way too. So I'm going to go ahead and show you the other way just so you know for future projects. Um, let's go ahead and hide this body. All right, so the way I did it last time is basically you go up here, you click Section View. Then you go from edge to edge there. And you go all the way here on the sides and then you offset make sure it's single not loop because you don't want all of them you offset like this and then you draw a line all the way across and let's imagine that this is not here right now and then you extrude down by one new body Top it off at two so it's at the center. All right, and then you go and you click replace face on this one to make sure you line it up with that board. And then you use uh, subtract tool again. But in this time, you don't have to click all the way around and delete all them because this is one piece because you made it large enough. Okay, so this is just an alternative method for you so you know that you can do it differently. All right, but basically you would say this is done right but you're not just modeling this you're actually trying to make it so we need to get some measurements let's go ahead and hide those sketches um, what we need to do is to separate this body into different pieces right because right now you know the sizes of the boards but you don't know what sizes boards you need up here so first of all let's go in here and just change the color because it's more fun this way All right and then you use the split body tool so split body select this 
piece and then you select which plane you want to split on so I want that piece to be cut right there and we repeat the process split body tool for the bottom select which object split the, this plane right here and the unique tool about the, the unique uh, thing about the split body tool is that you can do odd shapes it's not just up down and sideways so tools split body and you select the body and you can just select this edge and it literally cuts right there on the edge and check this out it's separated it's one piece of wood all right so we repeat the same thing here we split body select the body and we choose the inside here now we have that piece is separate this piece is separate so you can get the sizes for your entire project off of this and if you want to be really precise we can also go down here and draw let's say um, a bracket alright so that ended up being a little bit higher up there or what let's hide that for now just so it's not in the way oh I didn't close the sketch <laughs> alright so I have to close the sketch guys um, let's just draw this line over here make this bracket here and then uh, we're going to extrude this and you can see it's not perfectly aligning with the wall but considering these are going to be metal for example it's not an issue because we can bend it just a little bit to match the shape of the wall right so let's make it two by two and then we're going to use the shell tool tools shell we're going to select these edges let's do point two all right oh and the other thing we did wrong actually is that we didn't do um as a new body so let's select new body because it connected it it was the same color that's how you can tell it was connected so once it changes color then you can tell that it disconnected so we're going to use the shell tool we're going to select the edges we want to shell out it's going to be 0.2 millimeters and then we just select make sure you section view that so you can see better let's do 0.5 and then uh, same thing here turn on section view again 0.5 turn off section view and once we have those done we can do this deselect and then select both of these and we want them to be at zero so now you have a bracket and once you have that you can simply copy it over make sure you align it properly and now you have two so that's if you want to be extremely detailed in your project but don't forget to line them up and if you were going to make these out of wood and you wanted to cut them I would use the replace face tool so for example we're here in this wall tools replace face and then this way right but then you have that odd angle there so it's not perfectly straight so but if you have metal you can just bend it into place so this is just an example let's go to visualization and we have a gorgeous wooden twisted shelf so I hope you guys enjoyed following along hope you learned something new don't forget to like share and subscribe if you have any questions feel free to comment down below and i will see you guys in the next one bye bye here at j lake 3d our goal is to inspire and empower you to create your own amazing projects please support our work so that we can keep doing it don't forget to like share and subscribe to see more